Hello everybody, it is Alathaniel, the reviewer here, back with another review for you today. What I've got for you today is a sampling, you could call it. Um, I'm going to be doing the Angry Orchard Fall 4-pack. I know we're kind of getting into winter, but I got a few days left, so just bear with me. Uh, but yeah, so Angry Orchard, if you don't know, it is a hard cider brand. Uh, they do a couple different seasonal themes. They have one for fall and they might have one for spring or summer um but yeah what we're going to try today is the fall one essentially so there are, it's going to be four different types so what i got today is the angry orchard right there i've got the angry orchard hardcore the angry orchard sinful apple and last but not least i've got the angry orchard baked apple pie this is the one i'm most excited about so my main goal for this is to compare everything to the um angry orchard hard cider just the standard one um i know how this one tastes and I, I do like it so this one i've got no complaints with but i want to see how those other three flavored hard ciders are going to compare to this one so i'll be drinking this one more just as a reference point to see how the others taste and which one i really like the most so let's get to it all right so here we go with the first hard cider just regular crisp apple Yeah, that standard Angry Orchard. I mean, can't go wrong with the flavor. It's bright. It's really good. Just if you've never had this and you're a beer drinker, you may want to give it a shot. You know, if you find yourself going through too many Miller Genuine Drafts or Budweiser's or anything like that, and you just want to literally switch it up. You know, this is really good. You know, there's two apples in every bottle. Uh, it's claiming it is gluten free and 5% ABV. So it actually has nutrition facts on there, which is kind of cool. Just check them out right there. But that's pretty cool. What's good about this variety pack is as I'm mixing up with like beers and ciders, I can still mix up the ciders to get other flavors just as I can with beers and do different profiles. I wanna do stouts, pilsners, you know, IPA, stuff like that. This is where it's nice to have choice. So it's not just beer, 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 and then the same cider all the time. So, you know, it, if I had to give it a rating, I would give it a four out of five. You know, this is really what I consider to be the standard of hard ciders. There's probably a lot more out there that I haven't tried or considered, but you know, I'll get to them when I can. And that's what I'm here to do is find the best. So with that being said, let's go ahead and try the next flavor and see what we got going on. All right, so what I got next up on the list is the Angry Orchard Hardcore Dark Cherry Apple. This is actually 8%, so it's 3% more ABV than the regular uh, Angry Orchard. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pop this open and see how it tastes. All right, got it popped open. Let's go ahead and give this a sip. Whoa. Oh, yeah, there's cherry in there. And, yeah, I guess reading the fine print, it is... Imperial Heart Cider with dark cherry juice and natural flavors. You taste the cherry, so you get what you ask for, I guess. So the only problem is I'm not the biggest cherry guy. You know, just for the background, I am a fan of cherry candy, probably some cherry sodas you can get at Menards. Um, but as far as just actual cherry themselves, I'm honestly not a big fan of. But yeah, no, I can do like cherry pies. It's kind of weird. But just the fruit cherry, yeah. But this one, it's not bad. I can definitely drink it. I can see myself finishing this bottle, but it just, this wouldn't be one I would seek out. I would rather have the regular Angry Orchard than this one. Let me act like it's a product placement. Um, and on a plus set, like, even though you do have that a little bit more tart cherryness, you don't notice the increase in ABV, so. I would actually find this just as drinkable, all taste aside, as the original Angry Orchard. So that's pretty cool. You know, you, you kind of maybe you know have certain nights where you don't necessarily want to drink as much, but you also do want something a little bit higher ABV. You know, because who just wants to spend a night drinking all light beer all night? At a certain point, you don't even get a buzz. But to have something that gives you a little bit more as you drink responsibly, you know, that that's something I can appreciate. It was definitely drinkable, but I think I would have to give this one a three out of five. It's good. It's just not the one I would seek out for a hard cider. You know, maybe if it was just more like, ooh, a hard 
cherry cider, something like that. I think this could work, but you know, it, I do appreciate how it does have that cherry forward flavor. It's not just all oh, apple, but cherry in the background. You do get cherry, so I do like that. Let's go ahead and try the next one. All right, so next one up is the Angry Orchard Sinful Apple. Uh, you know, I'm not the biggest cinnamon guy, but you know, I'll do a big red every once in a while, or I'll get a cinnamon licorice kind of uh, candy, but yeah, I'm open to it. This one is a 5% ABV, so same as the original. So yeah, let's give this one a look and see how this tastes. Hmm. You know, it takes it as a shock but because you almost get that big red cinnamon hit but on the back end it gets much better so actually i'm kind of liking it and you just I always just kind of get taken by surprise with cinnamon so uh you know it's a little bit kind of oh didn't know where it's coming from but yeah no this is actually kind of good hmm I would actually say, now that I know that cinnamon is coming on a second sip, I actually like this one a lot. Yeah. Just, and it's not too strong of a cinnamon. It's not spicy. You know, it's not like some kind of candy that's just too much cinnamon and it's too hot and it becomes unpleasurable. This is just right. I'm really curious to see how this is going to compare to the baked apple. I think I would give this a four out of five. You know, I'm pretty happy with this one. I could definitely go through a couple of these um, in addition to the regular ones. No, it's got a good flavor. All right, yeah, so let's go ahead and try the last one and see which will be our best. All right, we are on to the last one. And of course we have natural baked apple pie. Check that out right there. I'm expecting, I haven't sipped anything yet. I'm expecting some cinnamon. I'm curious if it's gonna be less cinnamon, more cinnamon. How do you make this more pie than the sinful apple? So let's give it a shot. Ooh, that's great. And so, how can I, I almost want to say there's like caramel notes in it. Definitely, it's definitely less cinnamon, but it's, it's hard, it, it tastes like pie. It's kind of blowing my mind. It's, you know, and it sucks, I don't know how to name it, but the sauce that's in between the actual apples and the apple pie, it does taste like that. Wow. Oh man. No, this is easily the best one. Um, this is one thing I would expect to be the true embodiment of fall. And yeah, if you want to get with seasons, maybe not something you'll drink in the spring. You know, you can definitely do original will be an all season cider. Um, summer, no problem, but this is fall. This is crazy. Yeah. If I had to give this a rating for the baked apple pie, this would be a five out of five. And I think it is limited edition. I, I haven't seen this around year round throughout stores. So I'll get Angry Orchard every once in a while just to switch it up. But I've never seen this one outside of fall. I'm not even sure if they have a six pack by itself. But if you get a chance with the six days left in fall, um, look for this next year. You know, if you, oh, I need some fall you know, fall drinks, fall ciders. This is a hit. So if I had to give this a rating, I would give this number one very easily. Tied for second, I would say the original Angry Orchard and the Sinful Apple Angry Orchard. And in fourth place, I would have to give to the uh, Dark Cherry Apple. Again, it's good, it's just not for me, but I can appreciate that higher ABV, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you think about the camera too, quality, hair looking all right, how we, how we doing? Um, have you had these Angry Orchard ciders? Do you have a cider that's better than one of these? What's your favorite cider? You know, the usual. Start the conversation down in the comments below. Happy to join in. I will see you guys next time. I am Lathane, the reviewer. Later. Mm. Damn, that's good.